Hello, my name is Bert Boerland and I'm your host of Word Screencast today. And today we continue with the uh, screencast about the material user interface. So um, we showed our hands, uh, we did some gestures, we did some touch, um, we did Siri, hello Siri. And it was almost flawless, well, almost Siri was a bit at a fault. Um, one of the key elements that we didn't touch, uh, key elements pun intended, uh, is presence. Um, if I'm somewhere, it's also a form of a natural user interface, even if it's a very um, um, easy to understand and easy uh, user interface, it's still, uh, it is a form of, a, of being. So for example, I have uh, an iPhone on a Mac. Uh, I can't demonstrate this unfortunately because that's by nature how it works. If my iPhone is locked and I'm in the uh, proximity with my um, um, uh, iPhone and I unlock my iPhone with my uh, fingerprint, can't smell your fingers, but say I would un unlock it, then my Mac would know, okay, something I have, my iPhone, something I am, my fingerprint, and something uh, like in the proximity of, so it will unlock as well. Now, I think that's a key element that's over, over, uh, often overlooked. Um, speed, for example, is a form of natural user interface. Uh, proximity, um, there, are, there are lots of other stuff that doesn't have to be gestures or other stuff. Um, so as I said, it's if, if I'm close to my Mac my uh, um, and I unlock my iPhone, my Mac will unlock as well. This I did once. It, it sounds like speed of but it really works. Um, it puts something in your over your head that's measuring basic brain waves. And you have to think of certain word come back. Uh, uh, to, to let the um, 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 drone go up and another word to let it go down. And if you focus hard, it really goes up. And if you focus on the other word, it really goes down. Um, brings up complete different stuff from why would I have uh, an augmented glass on my on my glasses or, or 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 touch if I can control it with my mind and if I if 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 it, if it is a command line interface graphical interface natural user interface embedded user interface I don't know but if it's inside my head maybe I'm inside the, the computer um, so we had touch touch uh, gesture and Siri hello Siri um, Let's see if this one's working. Yes, this is a very old um, a demo I once did. Even have uh, to back this. Um, if I smile, it's sending a smiley uh, towards my uh, notepad. It's a low res, but I think you can still see it. It's using a, a regular webcam, so even uh, um, the webcam I'm using right now. So even um, uh, something like uh, as easy as that, as simple as that, can be used for, especially for disabled people, as we will see in a moment. Um, you see it in another form. It's a connect. I really love the connect. It's the reason I bought the other phones. Um, it is used for art, um, making pixels. Since it's an abstract form of yourself, it's very. People are very intrigued by it. Um, but the same thing goes for uh, uh, disabled people. It's a natural user interface, and they can really use it. And if they can move their arms and legs and, 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 and have some expression, of course. But even if they can't use their voice, um, uh, it's still an option. Um, this is a VJ who's also a DJ. Uh, on the left, you see his uh, VJ work, on the right, you see him. He connected his Kinect to his Mac. And on this uh, floor, you see tiles, and actually, the tiles are part of the interface as well. So you see him drumming in an augmented. Uh, uh, Magnetic reality that he can see on the screen. So if he steps forward, he gets different instruments. Anyone who wants to buy a Kinect after see it gets right. I tried it once. I'm not talented. Um, so here you see me uh, after I scan my face. This is something that, will, that, that might actually be in, well, it's in five years standard, um, that it's you who is in the, in the movie. Um, um, if you play a movie, it won't be very long before, since it's almost rendered uh, completely, uh, CGI. Um, it can be rendered real time as well, nowadays with the Xboxes and high, uh, high quality, uh, higher, higher quality computers. So, why not pick the uh, point of in point of view you want so that you can 
uh, move, move ahead or pause and, and see it from a different angle. Uh, that's an option. But the other thing is, um, since uh, it can scan your face, it knows, uh, it knows your face, why not plot your face on the main character or the bad guy or whoever uh, you want to be? It's also an option. Um, this is another reason I bought a Kinect. You can do markerless motion. Normally, if you do a, a motion capture, you wear a suit with all kinds of, of points, so it can see where uh, where the camera can see where you are. But um, uh, the Kinect can also do markerless motion, a form of natural reflex, basically. Uh, this is, of course, uh, hyped, uh, almost dead, and uh, reborn like uh, like a phoenix. Uh, Google Glass, uh, now uh, exclusive or more exclusive for the industry and not for uh, uh, creepy glass holes. So we looked at the five principles, it, um, they're, they're here. Uh, contextual is, a, is, a, is an important one, I think. Um, and it's also related to principle-driven design. So it's invisible computing, it's supportive computing, and it's adaptive. Um, and uh, for example, it, it can be very, um, very natural. For example, uh, a form that I really like is um, this. Um, if you move your iPhone, see that the background is moving faster or slower than the foreground and hence you have some parallax effect it's also a form of a natural user interface often uh, overlooked ah, it's, uh, it's something we all saw 20 years ago that would be the future and we still think of the future of course it's in japan or some some, some shops will have, will have this but really i'm not trying to buy my dress this way uh, that came out wrong didn't it So it's a leap forward. And there's a, this is a famous quote of uh, um, um, Einstein. Uh, all things should be as simple as possible, but not simpler. And uh, for example, this is a perfect user interface for a Formula One driver, and it's a very bad interface for you and me, probably, if we're not uh, for stopper. So um, we shouldn't be afraid of complex interfaces. For a certain group, it's still good. So the takeaway, uh, in Dutch, I'm afraid. Um, it's beyond touch and gesture, uh, and the Internet of Things is here, um, so it will become here. And the other thing is, uh, the legacy will hold us back a long, long time. So, no questions here, I'm afraid, unless you want to dump some in the comments. I'll uh, uh, record it now at the other episode for tomorrow. This one goes out today, and uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care.